What is up guys, Junior's Geckos here. And today, we're in the reptile room again, bringing you another video. Like I said, we're gonna start pumping out more and more content. So today we're gonna do is we're gonna go over um, the difference between a gravid female, an ovulating female, and a non-ovulating female. Now, mostly everything that I have right now is ovulating, but I have a couple females that aren't ovulating yet, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Thank, I guess thank you for them. Um, so let's jump into that. Without further ado, let's do it. Bam! All right, guys, so let's, let's pull out some geckos. Let's start off with our non-ovulating female. Um, yep, yeah, she's pissed. Check it out. Tangle Crush, Infernal Clown Cross, insane. Look at that color, man. Um, but so there's typically two ways to check for ovulations. Um, the way I do it is frowned upon, I guess, from a lot of people. But I've never had a problem. I've never had any geckos drop their tail, and I've never heard any geckos while doing this way. Um, but like I said, there's two other ways. So the other ways, and a lot of geckos don't even like this way anyway would be to pick a gecko up like this um but it's a lot harder to really tell for ovulations in that um but the way that i do it is i'll grab the base of the tail um you know you want the base of the tail mainly um you don't want to be up this high this is where you get a lot of issues where they'll you know twitch a lot if you're up this high but if you kind of hold them at the base that kind of gives you more control and it kind of you know kind of seduces them a little bit um, but as you can see, let's try and have it to focus. Oh my God, it won't focus. Um, sorry. But as you can see, when you do this, all you're doing is pushing against the gecko gently. I'm not putting any pressure. As you can see, um, or hardly any pressure. She's not freaking out or anything. Um, but this is a way you would tell. This is the way I do it. I um, mean, sometimes the ovulations can hide. So you do kind of have to push them forward a little bit. And as you can see, she's not ovulating. Um, which is she ovulated for me earlier this season and um, she really wasn't happy with the boys this season. So she hasn't ovulated since, um, which is fine. Some females do it, some females won't. Um, and then let's show you an ovulating female, right? Post gravid, I, I wanna say gravid kinda. Um, she looks gravid, so, and she kinda, and this is a Tangle Crush Infernal Clown Cross. Um, to electric line um, really nice gecko came out really really colorful um, let's move out this um, you know came out really nice with the color head patterning um, really nice gecko and the same thing again we're gonna hold the base of the tail um, as you can see there's a pink dot it's kind of hard to see on her just because she is kind of gravid and up here is kind of where the eggs is starting to grow and form but you can see this ovum right here wasn't fertilized, so I know she'll probably more realistically lay one egg. Um, but as you can see, kind of right here. So, and uh, typically a lot of females won't, um, won't, whatchamacallit, fertilize two of their, whatever you want to call it, follicles or their, their ovums. Let's grab another gecko. Um, check out this girl. She, I think she's my best colored female in my collection so far. That is my, um, just look how deep red her head is. Um, and the greens on her is not picking up on camera, but man, these green bandings right here have been, and I just love her tail. Her tail has a wicked pattern. Um, so this is a PG, AKA Pacific Green cross with a blood inferno, I mean blood clown cross. So basically clown genetics and her belly is starting to get so yellow it's insane um she's typically not the one but as you can see as she see this this is oh she bit me there but there's some geckos won't allow you to do that but i know her and i know she's just not a she just doesn't like to be held like this she's never have as you can see she just bit me again um but we'll try and show you her and she's been pairing so i know she's probably this is not the best gecko to show honestly um, she's been pairing, so I know she probably won't be ovulating. Um, let's show this. See, she's in pre-lay shed. And as you can see, the eggs difference, right? This is a female that has fertile eggs. So there's an egg right there and an egg right here. Um, 
and she's in shed. So we're kind of tracking this year too, seeing if shedding um, is linked to before, like linked to when they're about to lay. So um, last time she shed it out two days before her first clutch. So I kind of, we'll see again. I'm kind of thinking it's related, but who knows? We can never, that's why we test stuff, right? And we document stuff. Um, let's show this clown girl. That was bred to a purple head for those crosses again. Just wanted to test her out. Really her test pairing. Um, she's not doing the best at laying right now. She's still chunky. She's not losing any weight, so that's a good sign. But um, she is a first time female, so I understand. Um, and typically you get a lot of this kind of fertile issues with first timers. Um, they either lay good their first season or don't. Um, they're, some are rock stars at their first season and second season and third season they're duddies, but um, I'm not expecting a lot from her. Um, but I'll show you her, and that's ovulations right there. Um, she was paired, but she did drop a clutch, but they were infertile. Um, as you can see, she has one, two, three ovulations. Um, and this might start into an egg. It looks like it's starting an egg. And typically you can kind of tell, see here how it's more white than these ones. That's kind of telling me that she's gonna start forming eggs. Um, so that, that's another thing to look out for when you're trying to figure out if they are gravid or not. Um, is typically to check that, you know, check those ovulations. If they're like turning whitish and they're, they, cause they change from pinkish to purplish when they're not fertile. And then when they're fertilized, they begin to, um, let's see if this female's actually ovulating. So yeah, this female's still ovulating. Just, you can see the difference. Um, right here, she looks like she, oh no, I hope, uh oh. She looks like she's forming eggs too, which are gonna be infertile because this female hasn't been bred. But you can see the craziness that's going on right now with her. Um, uh oh. Yeah, that's not a good sign. If you see also eggs forming um, and they haven't been paired, <laughs> it's kind of typically I don't like that just because I don't want to get infertile eggs and then it just taxes the female for a lot of um, unnecessary reasons. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that on how you check for ovulating females. Sorry, this tub's in the way. Shout out to JF5 geckos. Shout out to um, Hard, Hard Rock Ripper geckos, Wally. Thanks for the stickers, bro. Um, but anyway, so that I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, Let's take you guys off on how to check for ovulations to check for gravid and you can see the difference kind of on some females you kids but everybody's acting up right now because they are breeding and you know attitudes are everywhere so um let's get this video done with and also before we get out of here i also wanted to sh show you the rack that we recently built um out of three three quarter inch melamine um, pretty heavy stuff, um, but what I did is I added casters to them. You probably won't be able to see the casters, but added some casters to them. So that does help it a lot with moving and trying to move it around. Um, I am going to try and make another one of these. I just, I, I don't have time to do a lot of things. I've been like, I've been busy, so bear with me, but I am going to be making one soon. I just don't know when. Um, I almost, I'm also trying to move and so I'm like really like stressed out right now because I'm trying to figure out how to get my eggs transported safely within moving. Um, yeah, so bear with me on that. I'm pretty sure I can build another one before I leave. It should be, it's easy. Um, like I said, the steps I can up. If you guys really want to know how to build this, I can really, I have the schematics down, written down how I built this, all the measurements you'll need, material and etc and i mean it's it's flawless like check it out it's flawless i mean gapping is right <clears throat> and the reason i put adults in here or bigger geckos is because sometimes you have flaws like as you can see the gap on this one's a little bit bigger um then when you go down actually they're all pretty the same never mind i lied um it's in yeah never mind that was cut um but um yeah, like I said, I have all the schematics on them. So if you want to know how to build this, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, whatever, and I can send you the plans for these. Nah, it took me like two hours to do this, like to cut all the shelving by hand with a handsaw and like literally router all the shelves and put the whole thing together. It took me a week actually to set uh, Finish the whole thing just because I didn't order the heat tape. I forgot to order the heat tape. I was so excited to build it. So 
I did all the purchasing and then when I was finally I was like putting on the back I was like oh I can't because I don't have heat tape so um it did take me a week to like finish it but it would take you like maybe three and three and a half hours after you get the heat tape in and like drill the back and whatever so it doesn't take too long but like I said if you do want to know how to build one of these hit me up and I'll send you all the measurements that I did to build something like this and you could do it even bigger you just have to use your own math of course but yeah stay wild thanks for all the support and like I said, always thank you for all the support and follow me on Junior's Geckos at Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and we're going to try and keep this rolling with content. Like I said, we are trying to move soon, so we're going to be pretty busy um, in the upcoming months, especially trying to figure out how to get these hatchlings. Um, I should be having Geckos hatch out within the next two weeks um, and roughly after that, just two weeks, two weeks. So um, like I said, stay tuned. Peace.